Today on The Daily Dose, the Battle of Long Island. Following Great Britain's retreat to Halifax, after their defeat in the Siege of Boston, Commander-in-Chief George Washington ordered his second-in-command, Charles Lee, to move the Continental Army to Manhattan in advance of an anticipated British assault on the vital supply ports surrounding the island. In July, just days after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, British ships and troops under the command of General William Howe began amassing on Staten Island, landing 32,000 Hessian mercenaries and British troops aboard 400 ships. In response, Washington moved many of his troops to Brooklyn Heights, clearing loyalists from the area in preparation for battle. In an effort to end American resistance without bloodshed, Howe made several overtures to Washington, granting pardons for the Patriots' capitulation, to which Washington replied, those who have committed no fault want no pardon. Great Britain's strategy in the Battle of Long Island was to sever American supply lines at New York, effectively choking off the New England states to the north, at the same time encouraging loyalists to support an early end to the war. The battle came to a head on August 27, 1776, when bloody fighting erupted at Battle Hill, which is now the site of the Greenwood Cemetery. Misreading the British assault as a primary landing force, the Americans inflicted the highest number of casualties, despite being outmanned and outgunned. In a flanking maneuver under the command of Hessian General von Heister, Hessian troops broke through the Americans' left flank, who resorted to hand-to-hand -hand combat before retreating from the pass. A third major battle happened at the Old Stone House, before General Howe inexplicably stood down after the Americans' retreat and eventual escape into Pennsylvania. By the end of the battle, British Hessian losses stood at 64 killed, 294 wounded and 31 missing, while the Americans reported 300 dead and over 1,000 captured, most of whom died on prison ships in Wallabout Bay or Middle Dutch Church from starvation lack of medical care, and an outbreak of infectious smallpox. After the Battle of Long Island, leaders on both sides of the conflict understood that what lay ahead would be a long and bloody war, making the Battle of Long Island the bloodiest day to date in North American history. And there you have it, the Battle of Long Island, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, Subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.